A guy obsessed with social media will do whatever it takes to go viral, even if it puts other people's lives at risk. That's why today, Spree. Remember that if you like the videos, you can support the channel by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. It's free and it really helps me to keep growing. Now, let's recap. This is the story of a guy named Kurt, who dreams of becoming an influencer and being known on a social media called Kurt's World 96, where he uploads videos with a variety of content, hoping that one of them will make him famous. In some of his posts, he is told that he was born in Los Angeles, but lives in a small town since he was a child. And we also see that his videos are based on everyday and funny things in his life. He is currently a driver for a ride platform called Spree that provides cab service through an app. And since he interacts with many people there, he decides to equip his car with cameras to record his videos while he works. Then we found out Kurt has been creating content for the internet for 10 years without getting any recognition, which at some point got him depressed because he felt he couldn't find himself, until he came up with an idea called The Lesson, which he carried out on April 12, 2009, the same day Kurt finally went viral. That day, we see him driving his car while talking to the cameras around him to present the lesson. While he prepares, he talks about some water bottles that have a special making that he documented in a video published the week before. The day begins with his first trip for a man named Frederick, who notices the number of cameras in his car and starts asking what's going on. But Kurt just tells him that he uses them for protection. The guy offers him a bottle of water, but Frederick refuses and asks him to borrow the charger. So our influencer tells him about a live he does while driving to teach his followers about how to manage social media. There the man starts interacting with him by making pointless racist comments that catch Bobby's attention, the only viewer of Kurt's broadcast at the time. Later, Frederick agrees to drink the water while Kurt turns up the music and tries to make conversation with him. But his passenger starts coughing uncontrollably, wondering what kind of water he just drank. Then we see the video from the week before where our trusted influencer injects the water bottles with a strange liquid. And in the present, we see Frederick trying to get out of the car, but Kurt beats him until he passes out. We don't know how long it's been, but Kurt is about to pick up the next passenger. And at that moment, we meet Andrea, who asks him to store a sign in the trunk and then gets into the car distracted because she is arguing on the phone. Without saying anything, the woman takes one of the bottles of water and starts drinking it. So shortly after, we see her passed out next to Kurt, who says that just like he did with Frederick, he will check Andrea's phone to rate himself and leave a $2 tip for his excellent service. He also starts answering her messages, and he tells the camera that will help deflect suspicion. On his way back to work, Kurt meets a new passenger named Mario, who is more cranky than the others, and refuses to carry on the conversation because he is not interested in anything the driver might say to him. At that moment, Kurt decides to accept the request of another passenger, and when the man finds out, he starts arguing with him. He has no choice but to accept because he paid the lowest fee. When they arrive for her, the girl rejects him at first, but the man insists on convincing her to get in the car and manages to do so when he offers her the service for free, telling her that he doesn't work just for the money. So we officially meet Jesse, who turns out to be a famous comedian with many followers on social media. So Mario starts recording her, making her angry, and Kurt threatens to get him out of the car if he doesn't stop. But everything gets even more out of control when Jesse starts recording Mario to tell her followers that he has been bothering her, and the man answers with an insult. Out. Me? She's the one being all fucking mean and shit. In the middle of the unpleasant situation, the girl ends up getting out of the car and takes a bottle of water to throw at Mario, then throws it away. Then Kurt takes a shortcut while the man discovers that Jesse posted his video and he starts to feel sick. They stop for a moment so he can throw up. But when Mario gets out of the car, our influencer decides to go in reverse at full speed to run him over, and then runs over him again just for fun. That night, Kurt begins to stalk Jesse's account and prepares the car's lighting to move on. But first he goes to a gas station to refuel while talking to his only viewer. Bobby is an influencer with a lot of followers and complains to him about the boring content he's making. He says he'll give him one last chance to improve to help him go viral. The next passengers are three fun-seeking tourists, so Kurt takes them to a distant, dark place to stick their heads out of the roof as he drives at full speed. Then the tourists start to have fun while streaming everything on their social media, but everything gets even worse when Kurt closes the sunroof so they get stuck. And when they stop, some wild dogs appear and end up killing them while he takes care of the other woman using one of his drills. Shortly after, he goes to the car wash and there Bobby tells him nobody saw his stream, and that's why his content doesn't matter. Then he recommends him to watch Jesse's content to learn how to act like a real influencer, and in doing so, Kurt finds it unfair that she has so many followers when he makes much more interesting content by killing people live. 
So he goes to Bobby's house, who is also in the middle of streaming, to ask for his help. But he tells him that he is not his collaborator and asks him to leave. Kurt doesn't listen to him, and his only viewer focuses on him with his camera to tell his followers that he is a guy lacking attention. Out of nowhere, Kurt pulls out a knife to stab him in the middle of both streamings, and to defend himself, Bobby pulls out a gun, but our trusted influencer throws himself on him to start a tussle that ends with several shots. Then Kurt focuses his camera on the dead guy on the floor, making his views increase, and after that he goes to Bobby's bathroom to shower while the stream continues with over 100 viewers. He also uses the guy's computer to make a stream on his account and dresses up with his clothes, but then receives a message from his father asking him to an event with a famous DJ that he doesn't know, though he ends up agreeing as his new followers convince him to go. On the way, he argues with his father about his family problems and the gun Kurt has in the car, but he doesn't care. And when they arrive at the event, Kurt greets the famous DJ hoping she will help him become famous. And when he asks her to tag him in one of her stories, the DJ ignores him, so he decides to leave. But before starting the car, the woman approaches him to ask him to take her to a taco truck and in return, she will tag him in a post. When they arrive, Kurt makes her a long photo shoot and then offers to buy her some food, even though there's a long line at the stand. While waiting, the DJ walks around the car to check it completely until she finds the gun our influencer has, and the first thing she does is take pictures with it. Then she drinks some of the special water and it makes her cough, and when Kurt returns to the car, he finds her passed out. And as if that wasn't enough, two policemen notice a strange situation from far away, and they decide to investigate. The officers ask him for his documents, and Kurt pretends that the passed out DJ is his drunk girlfriend. Then they force him to get out of the car to take the breathalyzer test. Out of nowhere, the woman wakes up scared and out of control, because the first thing she does is shoot the gun to kill one of the policemen. Everyone runs, including the other cop, who starts chasing the DJ who is running away, leaving Kurt alone. Thank you, God. Then he escapes in his car while being chased by some police cars, so he decides to drive on the highway in the opposite direction and continue the stream of The Lesson in the middle of the excitement of everything that is going on. This way, he manages to lose the police cars and arrives to a neighborhood full of homeless people. Kurt feels unstoppable as he runs over more people, and at the moment, he loses control of his car and ends up overturning. Then we go to Jessie's show, and while she is doing her routine, we find out Kurt has survived and is in the same place as her doing another stream with more than 30,000 viewers, to whom she shows the gun in her hand. Meanwhile, Jessie starts telling about her experience with Kurt's trip to make jokes about his need for attention. But she also confesses that at some point she experienced the same thing, and that's why she has decided that she will leave social media for a while. When he hears this, Kurt runs away, and on his way out, he reads a tweet from the CEO of the Ride app, where he announces that the company is stopping its service in Los Angeles due to the events of the last few hours, and then he decides to use another app. Then a man looks for him and gets into the car. Kurt continues with his live while his viewers ask him to do something funny, but he just talks to the man about the security cameras he has on the dashboard, and the driver jokes telling him that he is not the crazy guy around there. Later, Jesse takes a cab from the same company, without realizing the driver is Kurt in the car of the man who picked him up recently. He tells her that he loved her show and he's glad she didn't drink the special water this afternoon. At first, the comedian doesn't get it, but after a while she recognizes him, and everything gets much weirder when he tells her that he had a breakthrough in his life thanks to her show, and proposes to join their audience by making an adult video. Then Jesse starts to panic when she discovers that Kurt is taking her to his house, but she manages to strangle him with the phone charger, though a few seconds later he manages to stop her with a strong blow that knocks her out. Arriving at his mother's house, Kurt posts a poll for his followers to decide what he should do with Jesse. At this point, his stream has over 50,000 viewers, and when he sees the public's result, he prepares to drive the car over her. But when he looks ahead, Jesse has disappeared, so he gets out of the car to investigate, and then we see Jesse has gotten into the car to kill him. Her first attempt is unsuccessful, and she starts to chase him until she ends up going through one of the walls of the house, and though he starts to hurt her, she manages to hit him, but in the end, he runs away. Then Jesse gets out of the car and meets Kurt's father who starts to blame her for destroying the house, but right there they find Kurt's mother's dead body lying on the floor, and he starts to believe that she is guilty of that too. While they are arguing, his son appears with a gun in his hand, and he stops behind him and starts shooting him in the back. Then flashbacks confirm that the first person our trusted influencer killed was his mother, and he did it before leaving for work. Then Jesse returns to the car while Kurt keeps shooting his father, and takes advantage of that distraction to start the car, but when she tries to escape in reverse, the car won't start, so she decides to run him over until she ends up smashing him against the wall. The stream has 55,000 viewers, and we see Kurt has died, so the followers ask Jesse to get closer to see him better, and when she does, our influencer wakes up intending to attack her, but she begins to hit him with the phone until she manages 
manages to kill him. The scene ends when the comedian takes a picture with Kurt's corpse to please the viewers, and thanks to this, Jesse becomes even more famous being a Survivor referent. On the other hand, Kurt managed to go viral for everything he did, and also gained a huge following on various blogs that are now obsessed with him and his story. That was Spree! Don't forget to comment what movie you would like me to recap, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.